Uh, okay, right now we will do <coughs> shell analysis in road. To do it, uh, we have to prepare our model in uh, AutoCAD first. I think it's the easiest way to do it, the fastest way. And uh, one more time, considering that we have this uh, four or three types of the loads from the wind <coughs> on three areas, we have to I suggest to prepare the shell uh, according to this uh, pressure on the roof. <clears throat> Let's just copy it. So maybe already with the <clears throat> premium care accesses. We'll copy it somewhere here, for example. I will use, for example, trim, but there is a million <clears throat> ways to do it. Uh, use uh, this one which you like the most mm. <clears throat> and then I will just uh, mirror it <clears throat> now I have uh, four uh, uh, four uh, divisions and uh, what we have to do we have to go for the 3d modeling in the AutoCAD uh, we will go and uh, just draw a line 20 meters long from here uh, I will just check yeah I was uh, drawing in some <clears throat> strange uh, units but uh, I will have to uh, scale it in a second. I will just copy it uh, four times and I also have to uh, copy this one. As you can see I am uh, not uh, doing any shells in the meaning of the AutoCAD. I am just drawing a boundaries for the uh, for my model. Right now if I just measure uh, you will see that we have uh, 1025. Uh, if I go for the distance, I think it will be 200, and I would like to have it in uh, meters. Uh, oh, we will see in the. Um, we will just uh, multiply it by zero. And when I go for the distance from here to here should be 20. And from here to here should be 20. I will just check if the length should be 24. So I have to uh, go up with it uh, 4 meters long. How to do it the fastest way? I think the stretch option is the, the quickest one because I just type stretch click enter mark the, uh, like you see only this side of the structure which will be stretch and then I'm typing for and right now when I go for the distance it should be 24 I just yes. okay so this model uh, can be uh, exported to the robot but uh, to do it we have to save it as a separate uh, dwg file so i will just open a new one uh, I, it can be a cut uh, template uh, here it is uh, i will just mark it i will use Control c i will just copy it and uh, then go for the drawing and i will just paste it and uh, like you see uh, we have this object um, in a new file. Uh, I will just use 3D rotate to uh, rotate it uh, 90 degrees. Z in the AutoCAD should be Z in the robot. And then I will just save it. Uh, I will save it um, as um, shell uh, F16 uh, 1. Okay. And now what we have to do, we have to open a robot. <clears throat> uh, open building, for example. 
And right now I will just go for the file and open project and go for the shell, uh, not this one. I will just here, I will open the WG format. And then I have this shell F16 one and I will just open it here. I don't want to explode objects into finite element objects. I don't want to change linear objects. Discretization, I will just type 100. And uh, then everything should be fine. Uh, yes, this is my object. I want to have it, yes. And then we see that these are just the contours. They are not bars, they are not panels. So we have to make it as a panel. If I go here for the panels and uh, I'll go, for example, a top view, then I can just click on the bottom, on the internal points of the uh, of this uh, shell uh, shapes and then click close. And right now we have our shell object as we want it.